And we're underway at Ridge Road in the PU League in it is Derby match time. It is Ridge Racer against Burnout. It is Ridge County against Seacrest County in this brilliant Derby match. It's going to be a really heated game today as you can see. Both sides really up for the match. And Seacrest County have a last five away record in the league of loss, win, loss, scored or win. Scoring nine goals and conceding six. So they know where the goal is. As you can see, their attack is pretty lethal. And we're going to have to be careful, as you can see in this match. Derbies are often feisty, as this one it certainly is. And, um, yeah. So, Seacrest County have a teamwork stat of 89. And mine, my Ridge County side have a teamwork stat of 95. So, let's sit back and enjoy the action. Top player difficulty, as always. 10 minutes, full manual passing. Um, and let's get it on. It's a fantastic match so far. There's a great atmosphere and the reviewers were spot on with their, you know, the comments about the game as they eulogised about PES 2016 at the time. No doubt that they, they'll be, uh, you know, up to their usual high professional standards of telling the truth in PES 2017 when it comes to write the reviews. Um, Nathan Dittam, obviously at PlayStation Access, put poignant questions to Adam Batty at concerns of, uh, you know, amid concerns of some fans that PES 2016 might have actually been broken. Uh, a few rumours were going around that, you know, play, the AI had scored goals by kicking through players, you know, the, the actual human players team, uh, and similarly stopping human players from scoring goals. Um, but by, by cheating, by unfair means, by kicking through players. Apparently some players even suggested rumours that Pez manipulated stats of their own players to make them worse than they actually were and their team stat worse than it actually was. But Nathan, you know, really put the questions to Adam Batty in that interview and I guess we can all thank him for that because players, you know, PES players will be reassured that the hard-hitting, honest answers were given by Adam Batty, you know, who just simply said, well, PES is fucking brilliant, you know, essentially, in, in so many words. Um, uh, that laid all our fears to rest. So, you know, there was a bit of discontent among the PES PES supporters and PES fans that they might have been being ripped off by Konami. Not really sure what might have given them that impression though. I mean, if you look at this gameplay now, it's super slick and super fast and oh, we're attacking at the minute. Oh, they're defending at the minute. Oh, and it's just all action. It's non-stop and it's absolutely brilliant. This is what PES is. This is why the reviewers gave it 9 and 9.5 out of 10 and I'm sure you can all thank Konami with me from the heart that we paid, you know, 50 odd quid or whatever it was for a mighty fine football game. So thank you. And, um, you know, reviewers, you, you earned your coin well by describing PES 2016. You really, really put it on the line that, you know, all the honest truth and the facts about the game. So we're so indebted to you because that really helped us to make our decisions when we went to the counter. And, oh, there's a chance here. Over the bar. Ooh. And, we went to the counter and we paid our money in good faith knowing that, you know, you had laid our fears to rest. You know, all these concerns and rumours, I don't know how they got there that Pez might have been actually broken. But, you know, you you reassured us and we gave Konami our cash and we're thank you, thankful for that. I don't know who's been saying that Pez is broken, but if I find them, I'll sort them out. Yes, I will, indeed, no problems there. And I'm sure you will too, because this is brilliant. As you can see, it's a classic football game now, on the PlayStation 4. And a lot of time and effort went into this to ensure that the public weren't conned, either by the reviewers or by Konami themselves. And in fact, in my club, which I had a game of the other day, the programming didn't cheat, honest gov. And people who pay real money can do so in good faith that they're spending their money really well on improving their team and their players won't be there. So it won't be like throwing it down the toilet. You know, as we didn't throw it down the toilet when we paid at the counter, did we? This is a fine football game. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts and our wallets that, you know, you are 
honouring the players and treating us with the respect we deserve for keeping your business going because you know that if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't be in a job. Anyway, that's a half time. My pulse is certainly racing. How is yours at home? I was on the edge of my seat on that with that one. What an exciting derby, get, derby match. What will happen in the second half? Join me for that. And so the second half is underway. Will it be as pulsating and exciting as the first half? What will happen? Certainly no signs of any of the rumours about Pez being broken by these disgusting people who are leaving slanderous lies all over the place that the, not only the, the game was broken but that the reviewers might have actually lied and as you can see from the first half performance any rumours or any comments that the reviewers might have been paid a backhander to look right lies so that people would buy Pez 2016 were firmly put to bed on the evidence of that and let's see about this, the gameplay in the second half. As you can see so far, it's following on from the first half in such an attacking end-to-end -end typical derby style. What a match this is proving to be. What a feisty derby game. And doesn't it give you heart that you can, you know, give cash for PES 2017 in good faith that that won't be broken either that the reviewers won't lie because they certainly didn't lie about PES 2016 I think that in fact that they were too shy they should have given it 10 never mind 9.5 and 9 out of 10 they should have given it 10 hell they should have given it 11 out of 10 perhaps that because it's so good I'm sure that they're sitting at home right now enjoying such a good game because I'm playing a really good game and anybody watching this I'll just think I've got to grab my copy of PES 2016 put it on and play it because the Euros are on I'm in full football mode what could be better than this I'm looking forward to the new season my club are signing this player and things are happening and, that, and I'm getting really excited I'm getting a football buzz back for the coming season I'm going to play PES 2016 and get right in the mood with a feisty derby match how's about that and they're at home right now enjoying it just like I'm at home right now enjoying this you're probably sitting there watching this video thinking my god I've got to grab my pen copy of PES 2016 and play that it's going to be fucking brilliant in fact never mind giving 50 odd quid to Konami for PES 2017 I'm giving all, going to give them all the fucking money I've got because they're so good and you're thinking the reviewers wow how did they get it so spot on and accurate Amazing! I wish I could be as good at my job. Well, you know, something similar perhaps. What do you what do we think? But right now we're in a bit where we can't get out of playing this shit game, so we're gonna have to play a bit and make the substitutions and that. The one thing obviously it's done is made sure that for the coming Barcelona map. Where the hell is that going? Oh, straight into his arms, that's predictable. Um, one thing it has done is made sure that for the Barcelona match, which it's going to cheat for. Um, yeah, speaking of broken, eh? Look at the speed that they're doing this shit. I've got no chance of winning this football here. He says winning it. I couldn't turn him, I tried to turn him round and so we could get through there and I couldn't do it. This is vile. That is wow. I can't need to go anywhere, I can't go anywhere. What and Bassie, you know, and, and PlayStation Access that got the chance to, you know, if you've got, had the chance to interview, what the fuck? If you've had the chance to interview Adam Batty, why did you not ask him about stuff like this? Can't. He's, got, he's gone away from the fucking ball. The goal's right in front of him and he decide, decided to go away. Oh, we'll put it in the net.
Right, get me substitutes on now, eh? I didn't really need to do a lot because as you might imagine in this match because it was the way it was I really didn't need to oh that's another goal I didn't need to um, change a lot of tired limbs because there's one in it a few people were a bit tired from the international matches as well um, so I, I just took off Severa because um, obviously you were one of them affected by international matches and I put on Phil Tizinho and I put on Stankovic to make sure he has another run out because Mackenzie played oh, that turn sharp enough. Right, can Konami UK and Konami comment on that match for me please? Can people who interviewed Adam Batty and never asked him questions to make sure that the proper players weren't going to be ripped off with PES 2017? Can they comment please? Can reviewers comment please? Please, I'm asking please. That match was a fucking joke and you know it was. And you know that people have been conned when they paid for PES 2016. Well, I'm not buying 2017 and a lot of people are not. Because they're fucking sick of this shit. I'll see you for the results shortly. <laughs>